Hey, Eli, how are you going? Good. So you're going to take us through the Samyong BMW 50 Binwas watch alarm? Yep. So turn the system on, um, enter the password, so to get it into the uh, ability to enter it. Hit enter. Password is currently set to 1234. Obviously the skipper would have his own yep. unique It can be password. changed to anything you want. Oh, it's four digits long. And then uh, press the tick. Uh, it's accepted it. Now it starts up and it automatically starts a three minute timer which is adjustable between three minutes and twelve minutes. Um, the <clears throat> timer starts a countdown. Uh, there's a couple of ways to reset it. One is on the display here. Hit the reset button and it will reset it to three minutes. can be reset at any time. The other one is the main bridge box. The reset button, press that, it'll reset it. So those boxes are designed to be flush mounted? They are designed to be flush mounted. Um, and so, probably somewhere quite handy. So you see there you've got a reset unit and you've got an alarm unit. What's yes. the different between, difference between a reset unit and an alarm unit? The reset unit is has a reset button. You can reset the alarm on the reset unit. You cannot reset the alarm on an alarm unit. It's just for a remote alarm in, say, um, first mate's cabin or... Down the accommodation quarters. Down the accommodation quarters. Um, it just flashes, makes an alarm, and says assistance to bridge. Um, then that person has to go to the bridge to, re to be able to reset the system. Okay. Um, <clears throat> these adjustable timers between how long it takes for this, once this has been going off for a set period of, before it triggers this one, and that one has to go off for a set period, again adjustable, before it will trigger the next one and so on. Um, we've got seven... Uh, remote alarm units and three reset units here. So your reset units can be positioned elsewhere on the bridge so they don't have to be right near the chair. Um, if you're away working somewhere else you can have another one there. Obviously that's quite an advanced system. If you wanted to you could have less alarm yes. units and less reset units. Yeah you can have however uh, many you want. What about the motion sensors? They're not connected at the moment but maybe talk, tell us no. a little bit about those. So it also uses PIR sensors um, which you'd position up in the cabin. If these detect any movement, um, they will automatically reset the alarm system. So if you again, if you're not in your chair, if you're moving around the cabin making a cup of coffee or whatever, you don't have to run back to try and reset every, every three minutes. So long as you're moving, those will pick it up and reset it automatically. Okay, so we're entering the final uh, minute here. Yep. So it'll count down. So now we see a colour change. We're into yellow. Um, just, we won't activate it now, but you were telling me about that emergency function. That's pretty cool. So if you are in trouble on the bridge and you need to get hold of all the crew yep. as quickly as possible, yep. you've got that emergency key at the top. Yep, just press and hold the uh, EMG or emergency key and it will trigger every alarm that you have hooked to the system or your remote alarms. It will trigger all of them at the same time to say that you need um, immediate assistance on sure. the bridge. Okay, we're entering so the final 20, final 20 seconds here. So I'm, I'm seeing a light on this car. This is obviously our primary reset unit. Yep, so that's the lights on. You'll see the numbers have changed Change from to red. display to red for the last 10 seconds. Once that counts down, this light will just flash. There won't be an audible alarm. And then that counts down. Uh, you got your timer on there. So you're saying visual alarm. Yep. Okay. Down. 30 seconds. Well, while while we wait out that 30 seconds, just having a look, this is um, 15 actually. 15, oh, 15 seconds we'll program to yeah. now. <laughs> so we'll leave that going. Um, yep. Nice and easy to hear. Looks like quite a straightforward interface to, into, in order to wire it up. Yep. Yep. Pretty basic. Um, what about power? Power it takes. So you've got assistance to Bruce Summers when playing with this. Uh, your assistance, so your remote ones have uh, triggered now, um, and now you have to. Someone has to come up to the bridge and reset the alarm, and start again. So power, you've got an, 
it should have two power sources. It should have main 230 volts and a backup of uh, 24 volts. Um, as you can see at the moment, we've only got 24 volts connected. And you'll see a main power error coming up on here because it's picked up that it doesn't have 230 volts. So that's designed so that if one power system was to go down, you've still got a backup. So Eli, let's just talk about um, captain goes to bed. How does he have peace of mind that the crew aren't going to get in there and... Um you know, um, get into the system settings and turn off the watch alarm. How have they protected yep. the system? So if you want to get into the menu to change any of the settings, menu button, it's going to ask you again for the same password before it'll allow you to get in. Um, so you'll have to have the captain's password. Enter, tick. And now you've got into your menu setups. Um, if they want to turn it off, it's the same deal. So if I was to turn it off, needs master password so they nothing can be changed on it without the nothing can be changed on it without the, the password. master password that's excellent so. thanks Eli appreciate your help no worries